What's up guys, it's Steve and today we're going to look at is a Clever Dripper or a V60 a better method for you? So let's jump into it. So here we've got two very different pour over methods. We've got the Clever Dripper. So we literally put a filter paper in, rinse the paper out, add water, coffee grounds on top, give it a stir to mix it all in, make sure all of the coffee is wet. Um, leave it on the side, roughly for sort of two minutes, pop it onto your cup, out your drain. V60 on the other hand, uh, this is a glass V60, but you can get plastic, you can get other ceramic ones. I mean, this the, the bottom comes off, so you can change it for different colours, whatever you want to do. Again, filter paper in, we rinse, but this time we put the coffee in first. Uh, we pour an amount on to let it bloom, put a 45 second bloom, I do sort of a three to one bloom. Uh, then after that, up, pour in, I usually pour, if I'm doing a, I like to do 20 grams, to 340, so 17 to one. Uh, I pour about 210 grams of water in, let that go down halfway, and then I fill it up to the 340, and then just let all that filter out. Now, I do that with this on now a gooseneck kettle, an electric gooseneck kettle, a Time More Fish Smart, they call it, but it just call it a Time More Smart. I've got a video a review on that, I'll link that up there. Uh, and this, I just use a standard kettle, which anyone has to pour the water in. So which is better or which is for you? Um, personally, it depends on what you're after. If you're after sort of a speed, do it, walk away, clever dripper. If you're after probably the cheapest overall, again, clever dripper. But if you are wanting to experiment with or you, or you enjoy the process of making your coffee in the morning or in the afternoon or in the evening, you like getting your gooseneck kettle out, setting it to a nice temperature, do a nice pour over, different experimental methods, then the V60 is the one for you. So really for, for in terms of what I'm getting in the cup, um, I would say that it's very, very marginal between the two. There's really no difference that I, I can tell with my limited sort of coffee knowledge and taste. Um, the V60 is probably slightly more preferred to me. I, I feel like, say for example, on, on the bag of coffee, it says the tasting notes are apricot, almond and chocolate. I feel I can taste some of those. I feel like, oh yeah, I've tasted a bit of almond there. But with the Clever, I, I don't quite get that. And I don't know if that's because uh, I need to grind a little bit finer, a little bit coarser, whether I need to go from 17 to one to 16 or to 15 to one, maybe even 18 to one, who knows, for different levels of extraction. I suppose that's where you experiment with the two. But for me, both of these were 20 grams in, 340 out for 17 to one. The V60 is, is definitely slightly better a better tasting cup in my opinion um, and that's just using a guatemalan bean i think but obviously i've tried it with two or three different roasts um, a lighter and a darker and i'm still leaning towards the v60 for pretty much all of those um, but that being said sometimes when the other morning it was about six o'clock in the morning i just wanted a quick brew to put in a travel cup to get out the door i use the clever because the, the difference in the taste is, like I say, marginal. And at the time, the Clever suited me better for the time I had and the effort, etc. cetera. Um, to my sort of knowledge now, or my level of knowledge now, the V60 can be done with a standard kettle, but it's not as enjoyable for me. And also I find it with my kettle, it's a little bit harder to get the the water just right in terms of the measurements. You, you sort of drip in and it's a little bit over, it's a little bit under. The gooseneck's just a nice pouring, nice motion, 
easy to do. So with the clever dripper, you've obviously got the initial expense of the dripper. If you get a glass V60, it's pretty much the same price as the clever dripper, but if you buy one of the cheaper plastic ones, still in the size two, uh, that is considerably cheaper. Filter papers, again, much of a muchness. You'll already have your, you'll need scales, you will need coffee, obviously. You'll need a grinder. Again, with these, I've used the Time More C2 Chestnut Grinder, uh, hand grinder, a relatively budget-friendly model to grind for these two. And it, it, it performs well. Um, I've got another video that can go up there, that grinder. And it's, it's giving me good coffee. They're both giving me good coffee, but I have to say, I enjoy using the V60 more and it does give me a slightly better cup. But if time is constraint, I go with a clever dripper. So really both of those have got a level of, of need for me personally, depending on situation. And that's probably for most people as well. You'll find that the clever is gonna suit you one time, the pour over V60 is gonna suit you another. Um, in my opinion, if you have a gooseneck kettle or you want to purchase one, uh, the V60 is probably a little bit better. Better cup of coffee, more enjoyable as well, creating the coffee, um, a bit more experimental, and it's all to do a more enjoyable experience. But if you don't have one, you're not gonna buy one, you don't want one, I would go with the Clever because you just pour the water in first before the grounds. Whereas the V60, when you're using that with a normal kettle, I find it quite cumbersome, uh, it's more difficult to get the water ratios right to, to how you need to brew and it's just not that enjoyable to use. So I would steer clear of a V60 and go with the, the Clever Dripper. The V60 is just more fun, I think. It's more fun, it's more enjoyable to use and that's what this speciality coffee is really all about. It's like a journey of learning, a journey of having fun, a journey of creating a nice drink. And the V60 does better at that than me, but that does come at a cost. And that's something which you have to weigh up, um, whether it's worth it to you or not in the long run. Um, the, the gooseneck kettles, the electric ones, are expensive in my opinion for what they are. Um, that, that, that's just a, a fact. Um, but that is, it is what it is. And, and if you want one, you're gonna have to pay it because they're all relatively the same sort of price around the 100 pound mark, which is a lot of money for, for what it does but hopefully you can find a few more uses for it, making cups of tea, etc., with it, if you do purchase one. So I think that about wraps this one up, guys. Uh, do hit that like button if you, you found this useful and you wanna hear, see some more content. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think of these two. Is there a better dripper out there? Uh, I am really interested, maybe try the Kalita Wave, the flat bottom, which is a, something which would interest me, so I need to get one of those maybe bring it on the channel. But uh, yeah, with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one.